All right, this is like a totally impromptu video and it's because I've been running around like crazy today and I just wanted to share with all of you my plan, my vision, what came to me in my morning practice and how excited I am about it. I know that I've got many gifts to offer and share and I spend a lot of time supporting my, my close friends and a community, building community. It's all about putting the unity back in community. Right now I'm over at Costco getting some gas and I've got to run in real quick. But later this afternoon, essentially what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go live at my house. I'm all about decluttering. I'm all about getting rid of stuff that's not being used. And I'm asking each and every one of you, those of you who need clothes, shoes, purses, whatever, Tune in, share it to anybody you think might be interested because essentially, you know, one woman's trash or overflow is another woman's benefits. You know, something that you may need that you would pay ridiculous amount of money in a uh, department store, designer store, what have you. This is Therapy Thursday. So I'm going to turn this into a retail Therapy Thursday. I will be going to the beach later. But essentially, my goal is, is to, to focus on getting rid of clothes that uh, between myself and some girlfriends that I'm also trying to help clear their clutter because some of this stuff is brand spanking new people. There are tags still on them. They are in perfect, beautiful condition. So I want to be able to put it back out there to people who can use it, who will use it because that is what is needed right now is that we need to we need to recycle, reuse. And the thing is too, um, I'm willing to do trade for. So if there's something that you are in the local Clearwater area and you need clothes, for example, and you have a service that you can provide or something you can offer in exchange, I am open to that. That's in my mind. I don't want you to just feel like you're limited to a price or cash sale for something. This is my goal, is to be efficient, sufficient, sustaining, maintaining, because that's what life should be, is about finding um, alternative solutions. Uh, when We may end up in a situation, you just don't know, where cash no longer goes. It may be, really, what do you value? Maybe you need food, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta start thinking like this. So how can we help one another in a way that supports each other. You know, you need clothes on your back, you need shoes on your feet. Maybe you need more fancy clothes for the type of work you're doing, whatever it is. So yeah, if you have any ideas, see, I started thinking about this because what people don't realize is people hire people to come into their homes, to declutter their homes, to organize their homes. I can do that kind of stuff. I can come into your house and lift weight off of your shoulders. Now how I'm going to take those items and share them with the world to create, um, uh, yeah, create space. And cause I, I'm not looking to hoard. I'm not looking to clutter my home. I'm looking to take something that someone else no longer needs. It's no longer serving them and find the people, put that connection. It's all about networking, put the people who need them, in touch with those things that they need. So a barter directory sounds great, but I'm gonna use social media. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go live either on, I think Ridiculously Authentic will be my main page for doing this. And then I'm gonna set it up and create listings for all of the pieces of clothing and such. So this gets really good and here's the deal. Because the reason this actually started was because my girlfriend who is been um, really struggling with the overwhelm of all of her stuff. And I know because I have the same situation in my own home, but I also know there's a dual purpose for doing this because it'll get me more familiar in the best ways to list items because I already know you got to take pictures, you got to stage it, you have to put up descriptions, you have to put prices. There's more to it and it's a lot more work and it's a lot of energy to do all of it. And so I want you to understand that um, that if I, if you are somebody who is looking for something like this and I can work with you, I'm more than willing to do that. But understand that there is an exchange that will happen based on time, energy, and effort and such. Um, 
because again, like I said earlier, there's a lot of people who do this work and they charge for it. But I'm, I'm here to serve in a way that actually supports people who can get out from underneath their shit, right? We all need to get out of our shit. And that's emotionally, mentally, physically, and materially. And so I'm here to serve in the many capacities that I do. Dude, cars backing up, not even looking in the back mirror. Cars taking a turn, coming right at me. People don't know how to drive, it's crazy. Like, hello, look at around you, become aware. Yes, I'm doing a Facebook Live and I've got all this awareness of what's going on around me. Just saying. So anyway, I, I just, I hope this resonates with people and I really want to turn this, I may create a group that goes with this. Um, I already have Radiculously Raw Authentic. I have a new group, the old group uh, my ex-partner has now because he decided it was his. <laughs> Back in the day when it was so freaking easy to create a group and add people to it. Yeah, that's a whole nother bag of worms. I've been processing that. It's taken me a lot of like emotional, like I'll be straight up. I've been fucking angry about it. I've been dealing with my own resentment around that. Like the fact that I myself had been supporting, had been supporting somebody who wasn't equally supporting me as well. I mean, you can do everything ladies, but you shouldn't be doing everything. All right, Mr. Clearwater Police, are you going to get out of my... Okay, fine. I'll go this way because this is not working the way I want it to. But I want you to understand that we all have something that's holding us back. And so that something might be just stuff. But most of the times the stuff is so related to our emotional stuff. And so just be willing to understand that whatever you're going through, you can get through that. You have to like, psychologically, you have to work on... Um, your mind, body, soul, clarity, um, awareness, but it's also healing. It's not just, um, it's not as simple as people think, but baby steps and kindness matters. Like when you are going through something, you have to give yourself, you have to give yourself permission to be kind on your own mind that whatever you're going through, it's okay. You know, baby steps. Like I told my girlfriend, I said, don't beat yourself up for not having spent all this time in isolation, quarantine, for not getting enough done in your mind. Because perfectionism is our biggest, like, it's it's like a thorn in our sides for many of us. You know, oh, you know, we should on ourselves. And when you should on yourselves, all you do is make the pain more unbearable. You you de degrade yourself, we self-flagellate, we continue to beat ourselves up emotionally, mentally, and physically, starting with this. And then we, we clutter. Okay, so what is clutter? Clutter is an example of an unclear mind, but it's also a protection. You know, if you're heavy, if you're overweight, believe it or not, weight is a way of protection. People will build up the tire around them because they don't want people to get close to them. They don't want people to get, um, you know, it's like, oh, if I create this barrier of weight, if I create this barrier of stuff, people won't be able to get close enough to me because there's walls and they come in many different forms, right? So yes, and life coach, I'm actually not fond of the word coach, but I am definitely a mentor. I am here to be a guardian, a guide. For those of you out there, if that interests you, I also provide those services. I will work with you, um, you know, sliding scale and such, but it also has to, we have to work on collaboration. Whatever it is that I can do and serve in whatever capacity, I know my boundaries, I know my limits, and it's about working together, knowing yours and mine too. Um, but essentially what I'm here to do and what I'm trying to get everybody to understand is we create clutter because we can't let stuff go. Maybe you have resentments. Maybe you have things that are like you're holding on to and you're afraid to let go because it has a memory attached to it. Well, you have to make peace with that. There's a whole grieving process. It's a death rebirth, people. When you go through all this stuff, like you go through the memories of like when you bought something. I, I'm sure many of you have heard about um, the many different books out there regarding the connection, the energy around stuff. 
You know, there's, there can be a heavy weight to certain things. And when you get rid of them, it's like, wow, I feel so much lighter. I know for myself, when I rearrange my house, I organize, I dust, and there's certain things that I just instantaneously, I get it. It, it lifts a huge weight. And that's what we need to do more of, is we need to let go of the stuff that's not serving us, that's holding us back, that's weighing us down. Because how, how can we propel forward? How can we grow and evolve if we're still stuck in the old paradigm, the old beliefs, the old ways of doing things, the old habits, the routines? You know, just changing up your daily routine once in a while, that's going to change your life forever. But it takes at least 40 days to change a habit. You know, I work with the Beyond Addiction program, Kundalini Yoga teacher training, and we're coming up with the level two. This October, we're starting new programs again. So if that interests you, reach out to me. Let me know. If you're in the Clearwater area, we have Kundalini Yoga teacher training. We have upcoming workshops the 26th of September and the 10th of October. We begin the training the 17th and 18th of October. And I'm a part of these programs. And then then we'll start Beyond Addiction coming up in November, December. And then on top of that, we have a level two mind and meditation. And I'm going to tell you that all of them are phenomenal, but you should check out and see if there's something about them that resonates with you. Now more than ever, now more than ever, we need community. We need to work on our stuff. No more hiding out. No more like dismissing our shadow, full on accepting, owning, integrating it all. To be whole, you have to be willing to sit with it all. You know, hey, Christine, I was living with my dad in Port Ritchie when I did the teacher training back in 2013, 14. And I tell you what, every day I drove, it was worth it. Um, yeah, so there's so many different things. You just need to know what is it you need for you. Uh, if there's something you feel that you, you can reach out to me and ask. It never hurts to ask. That's one thing I was taught growing up. Never be afraid to ask a question. What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to get a no. Well, at least you know where you stand. Or maybe you don't get a no. Maybe you get a yes. But you won't know until you ask. Maybe instead of yes or no, you'll get something even better than what you ever expected, what you asked for. This is how the universe works. It's energy. If, if you're willing to put yourself out there, you will get a return on your investment. And you are your own investment. You are your own currency. People, this is the bottom line about life. We are here to support one another. We all want to be happy. We all want to be running around in joy, right? We got to be willing to put ourselves out there to do it to begin with. Don't hold yourself back with this. Mindset is everything. And it starts with being in awareness of what your mindset is. It's a, in awareness of what your thoughts are. What is your reality? If you look around at your reality, you get a pretty good idea of where you're at in your head. Because everything outside of us is a reflection of what's inside of us. There is no separation. There is no divide. Unless you put it there, that's the only thing that you have control over, creating that divide, creating that separation. It is so divisive. This system that we work in, that we live in, that we go through our daily life, I'm here to tell you, this is not normal. What we're going through right now, not only is it not normal, but we need to step up. We need to claim our lives back and we need to live authentically. Do you really believe that the things going on are in our best interest? I'm not here to tell you right or wrong, but you have to consider if you're not in happiness, if you're not in joy, then you're not living the way you're supposed to be living. You are not living the life God intended for you. And if you are any type of a God-fearing per person, I like to say God-fearing, not God-fearing, then you would understand that he created us in his image with everything we need right here. And us humans, we have so totally corrupted that. This idea that we can control like every little detail. If we're supposed to get sick, it's because we're supposed to slow the heck down. If something happens to us, it's to get our attention, whatever it is. 
Whatever happens in your life is there for your growth and your evolution. It is never to hurt or to harm you. And if you think that, then yes, that will be your reality. Because with real eyes, you realize the truth outside of the lies. There is truth in everything. There is truth in everything. And what you look for, you will find. So where attention goes, energy flows. And if wherever you're willing to put that energy, ah, you can create some amazing things. And we need to take it up. We need to step up. We need to up level people. How can we up level if we're holding ourselves back in old beliefs and patterns? If we're still saying this one did this to me and that one did that to me. I mean, the finger pointing, three fingers pointing back. Be willing to take personal responsibility. At what point are we as individuals going to step into our personal power and say, you know what? I own that shit. That's mine. You know what? I own my stuff and I'm good with it. I don't need somebody else to judge me or to point fingers at me. And I'm certainly not here to do that to any one of you. I am here to reflect back whatever it is you need for your personal growth and your evolution. Because I know that my overall overarching goal in this life is just to heal with my presence. It's just to elevate and uplift people just with my presence. Don't have to say a word. Maybe just a smile. Because I believe we all have the healing power within us. Nobody is without. Nobody is lacking. And every single one of us is not just worth it, but more than worthy. We are enough. You're not broken. I'm not broken. We don't need to be fixed whatsoever. Essentially, we are completely good where we're at. We are completely perfect as we are. But until you and I and everyone else owns and claims the all, the wholeness of who we are as individuals, until we do that, we will hold ourselves separate and divided even more. You want to see peace? Learn to find your peace within. You want to see peace around you? Look within own your peace and spread that like wildfire radiate that peace you are that nobody's holding that back from you if anybody is it's you and I want to see you shine I want the glory in you to radiate out just like the Sun because you all are beautiful people Mm -hmm. and I appreciate you and I'm grateful for you so if declutter retail therapy Thursday resonates with you Let's work together. Again, I'm going to go live on the page. I've got a girlfriend coming over to my house. And we're going to work together. And it's going to be so much fun. Because this is just the beginning. This is just a cool idea that I came up with this morning. And I'm like, heck yeah. Let's do videos together. And then we'll post these these items. So like, it's kind of like a garage sale. But I'm not going to be selling at the same time. You'll just get to see the items. And then they'll be posted later. If that resonates, if you like that idea, if you need somebody to come to your house to help you declutter, talk to me. Reach out. I'm also going to be posting stuff on my other pages too. I will spread it across the social media as best I can. And if someone out there wants to help or be a part of this, let me know. You know, let's expand. Let's do, let's do better. When you know better, you can do better. Let's do good for the world. Let's get rid of the crap, the clutter that some other person doesn't need and make it someone else's golden treasure. Because that's how we recycle, we repurpose, we reinvigorate, we recharge. You know, we all have things that can be reused by somebody else. And we're not talking trash, we're talking some nice stuff. And I hate to see things donated because most of those places are basically throwing it into brick and mortar or big corporations and we don't know where that money goes because it certainly doesn't go to the people who need it so this essentially for me the money that I make off of this is going to fixing around the house this is also going to my back building and renovations that's one of the purposes in my mind is this is dual purpose so again if you know somebody who does work on reconstruction uh, building and all that I'm willing to do trade on that too. I got to go into Costco now and I got some things to pick up. I love you 
so, so much. I so appreciate you. I'm grateful for each one of you who is still following me after all this time. And much love, many blessings, and I'll see you in a while when I'm online, Ridiculously Authentic for Retail Therapy Thursday, going through bags of brand new clothes and some gently used. Love you.